Welcome back to another video. My name is Chelsea and my name's Nick. <laughs> we are excited to do this video even though it's going to be a little bit different. Usually do videos on our channel about lifestyle wedding videos lately because we got our wedding footage back which has been really fun to look back on. This one we're just really excited about because specifically for Christians I feel we have these types of questions but we're not really sure how to go about them or what our um, guidelines are in this area but more than anything in this video we just want to make sure that of course it's coming from the perspective of people who are uh, Bible believers and so that is why we say what we say in this video so um, just want to put that on the upfront so you know and so you don't get halfway into this and think what am I watching so so when it comes to boundaries we've always kind of had this perspective um, with each other and in our dating relationship, the first year of our relationship, we dated long distance and then we moved to the same city and got married and it's been amazing. However, I know for me and Nick included, our dating relationships before each other didn't always like seem to look this way. We didn't care so much about how to live our lives in the sexual aspect of our relationships. Um, and just healthy boundaries in general. But then I realized over time how much of an impact it made on me as a person because I truly believe that what you do in the physical impacts you in the spiritual because we are physical beings with spiritual souls. And so that might sound a little weird to you, but I, I firmly believe it. We did a whole podcast on this topic as well, if you guys want to dive into it a little bit deeper. I think today you hear the question asked a lot, how far is too far, mm -hmm. right? And while I think that's a fair question, in some ways, I think it's in a lot of ways, and in my, my perspective, the wrong question to be asking. Yeah. I think when you're with someone, you, you have a team dynamic going on, I think the better question to ask is how can we achieve the goal of our relationship? So whatever that may be, whatever your goal is, I don't know that. And in a lot of ways, we're still figuring out what the goals of our relationship is, but nonetheless, I think that you should try to get some sense of what and where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. And with having that in mind, I think that you should begin to chart a course of how to get there. And this is the thing, people say that it can't be done, it can be done. It, it absolutely 100% can be done and accomplished and it's not as though Christians or church or God is trying to take anything from you or trying to take any of your fun away. Mm -hmm. The reality is, is that he's actually trying to keep you from a lot of pain and a lot of shame, right. a lot of regret, all of which I've experienced in my past. I can first handedly say uh, that it is real, it does exist. Mm -hmm. and it's not fun it's not something that you want to experience or something that we want you to experience and so some of you are probably watching already and thinking of a time or uh, some part of your past or maybe even your current situation right now that you're going through and you're carrying a lot of baggage you're carrying a lot of shame and regret and guilt and uh, I think one thing that we just want to communicate to you is that you don't have to live there. You don't have to yeah. stay there. You don't have to be there. And, and, and that's a really big message that I wish someone could have told me when I was younger yeah. is that I don't have to stay there because for so long I thought I did. Yeah, me too. And I don't think that we can truly operate in our gifts and live our lives in a healthy in a way that glorifies God if we're so distracted in our mind. I don't know how to necessarily phrase this in the right way and if my voice sounds weird it's because I'm currently sick but um, that's why we're kind of like keeping a distance from each other <laughs> because we're like not yeah, wanting to like yeah. um, get each other sick. Yeah. But I, I would say to the person who has maybe like messed up in the past because that's me, that's Nick. Mm -hmm. um, that there is grace for you and that you can choose from now on out like how you want to move forward and you can choose for your current relationship or your relationships in the future how you want to take charge of yourself and 
I would say like with establishing boundaries because that's what this video partially is about. Make sure that the person that you're with is on the same page as you. Mm -hmm. If the person that you're with is not on the same page as you, then you might be sinking in a ship and not even realizing it mm -hmm. because it's so important that you have the same goals and values. Um, and I think that's why God harps so much in scripture about being equally yoked. And a lot of people don't even really know what that means, but here's a quick visual for you. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a yoke between two, what do you call them, oxen? Mm -hmm. Um, the reason that they would put a yoke between these two oxen is so that they both could equally carry the weight of whatever is when they up. were when they were planting rows yeah they would put an ox and they had to put the plow behind the two ox and mm -hmm. if one ox was stronger than the other ox um, by a massive margin the it would shift it would curve mm -hmm. and it would go off course they were trying to go straight but they would go off course right and that's another huge thing I think that you're spot on with is you have to be on the same page. If you're not on the same page, you're, you're two people going in two different directions and you'll never end up at that central goal that you're trying to get to. I mean, it's just so, so, so hard. I, I know a few people who have made it work in the extent of their relationship because they had some defining moment where the two came together and said, okay, we're going to go in this direction, in this way, yeah. uh, from now on. But man, if you're going in two separate directions, one person believes this and the other person believes this, it is so, so, so hard to get really to where you're trying to go, but more importantly, where God has you to be. And, uh, and that's another thing with sexual um, weight and guilt and the stuff that comes with it a lot of times is that it can really, really distract you. It distracted me, it distracted Chelsea in some seasons as well, of really getting to where God is trying to take you. And um, it's just such a heartbreaking thing because there is so much goodness and so much purpose and joy stored up for you and planned for you. Um, and, and I personally would hate to see you fall into this same hurt and grief and pain that I fell into years ago as well. Yeah, so I've seen so many videos done covering videos of couples who've done similar things to this type of video um, in the sense of making it seem negative because yeah. they don't necessarily have uh, the same point of view. They think that the Christian point of view is very harmful and destructive. However, what they don't realize is apart from Christ and looking at this view and how we should view ourselves in the sense of like the physical that you can't see you can't see clearly from that perspective if if god hasn't intervened in your heart so i would ask yourself do you know for sure that you're walking with the lord and if your motives are in the right place are you looking for a relationship for selfish reasons and to get comfort and to um, just have someone to do life with to fulfill all these things inside mm -hmm. of you or are you all, are you, is your goal to walk with someone so you guys can create a relationship, a safe, safe place to glorify God who is higher than us and who created us in the first place? I feel as if a lot of people think that that view is, is damaging, but it's so not. I have never felt more fulfilled in my life, more joyful, more purposeful whenever my relationships and my personal life is giving glory to the Lord. This video might seem a little bit more serious. Yeah, and, um, but it, it is. Can, it's it can a huge, it's a a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, it really is a huge deal. And uh, yeah, again, we don't want you to click away from this video thinking that, you know, um, being sexually attracted to someone is wrong. Being sexual with another person is wrong. Uh, wanting to do those things, it's not wrong. It's, it's really human biology. But in the sanctity of marriage, I think is where it finds its most true, pure, joyful, purposeful form. Uh, yeah. Because our relationship, our marriage, and again, a Christian perspective, is ultimately for the glory of God and for the world to see an example of Christ and His bride. And so if we're yeah. doing that, then we're walking in purity, which is such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, a quick note is that when we were going through premarital counseling together, our 
premarital counselors, they gave this awesome perspective. It's so funny that I'm talking about this because I'm not even wearing my ring. I'm so bad. It's I don't early, have mine on either. It's early in the morning and I just haven't put it on yet. So we are married, I promise. You can go watch the wedding video. But anyways, the quick thing that they said, they gave this really, really cool illustration about how when you go to set up a fire, you you most always want to put it in a pit, especially if you're around in a public place like a park, an apartment complex, yeah. um, in a national forest park somewhere. You always usually see a fire pit. Well, why is that? Because fire was meant to be in this spot. And so when we recognize that, I think we're able to understand it from the perspective of, hey, when this thing, when this attraction with this uh, physical intimacy that we have, when this gets outside of this pit, when it gets away from where it was always supposed to be, it can become really, really destructive. And, and that's why you see that safeguard around it. And for us, that's marriage. Yeah. And for Christians, that should be marriage. And, and so I think there's a reason, I think there's a purpose that God has placed His hand and His plan around this thing called marriage. And it's not only for, for sexual reasons, but for so, so many reasons. Oh, yeah. so many. And, and it is most enjoyed, it is most safe, it is most purposeful, it is most joyful um, in that covenant relationship, in the unity of marriage. And so I just want to encourage you with that, that there is no shame, there is no reason to carry guilt, there's no reason to carry baggage. Uh, anymore, you can leave those things behind and begin new and fresh. Yeah, for sure. And I didn't want to necessarily cover, like, don't do this, set this boundary, mm -hmm. walk this line, blah, blah, blah. But we covered a little bit more in our podcast episode c titled, I think, something very mm -hmm. similar to this because we wanted to go more in depth. And we feel, I feel like when we're sitting across the table talking into a mic, we talk a little bit more differently than we would on a YouTube video because I don't know if you've noticed but the audience on YouTube is less like drawn in towards more deeper content. A lot of people want more surface level mm -hmm. yeah. fun type videos which is totally fine and we're all on board on that because that's like our everyday life is usually more like YouTube. Um, but when we get to talk more about spiritual deep mm -hmm. things, it is really fun because we can just kind of like say whatever and nobody's gonna like hold something above our head and yeah. like tell us you're wrong, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Yeah. I, I think there is a huge difference between the two platforms. So take a look on there if you mm -hmm. are curious more into this topic. But um, yeah, we just wanted to encourage you guys in this area because I know it can be really hard when you're in a relationship and maybe someone's not on the same page as you, but you so desperately want them to be on the same yeah. page. And let me just tell you, an ox, that little thing in the middle, the yoke, it's got to go one direction. It can't go in two different directions. Mm -hmm. So when you're paired up with someone, when you're linked with someone, even if you're not married or engaged, if you're in a relationship and you're walking with them, you're going to end up going in their direction or they're going to end up going in your direction. Mm -hmm. And usually if it's in the direction that is, you know, less pure, you're most likely going to be steered um, off course. So might as well be with someone who's on the same page as you. So you guys are clearly going in the right direction and you are confident and happy in that relationship because yeah. we want that for you. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah. We're really thankful you guys clicked on this video and if you want to watch more, we have plenty of other videos on our yeah. channel. Just a couple. <laughs> a couple you can go watch. Yeah. Um, but we're just thankful. Watch the podcast. No, not watch it. Listen. Listen, Listen to the podcast. Like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, you can share it with a friend with the share tab down here. We'll leave a link to our podcast down below as well. But until next week, we will see you guys later.